Hello, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new, remember to hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell. It will alert you to up and coming videos. We are here today to do the signs for, we're gonna do our earth signs. We're gonna do Capricorn, Virgo and Taurus for the month of August, sun, moon and rising. We're going to get big energies out this this month because we have the 88 lines gate we have the two super full moons we have i think we've got a new moon we've got some venus in retrograde we've got retrograde energy it, there is a lot happening and it's all about closing out cycles okay it's closing out rapidly um lessons such as karma karmic lessons cycles and the universe is bringing things in full force and bringing everything to light it is a part of your ascension process so let's see what the message is for my earth signs oh here we go now we have the knight of swords but it is in reverse the deck is up the right way hang on i'm gonna have another shuffle so my earth signs Let's get some cards out here for you guys. All right. This is the page of wands that is about speaking up, speaking out, having your say. Um, and, <laughs> and here we have the card where you are up in your head, stuck. Now that is the five of cups is you don't feel things are going well for you it could be thinking something over and over and over what i want to say to you guys is what are you stuck in what do you do that keeps you in a repetitive cycle okay also this is about moving fast and passionately and and with force but you know in reverse it's saying slow down you know slow down it's for some of you there is no more passion anymore there is no more moving forward in this or taking it forward so stop getting stuck in in something it can be a way you're doing it now the way you're thinking or, or the way you go about something and it could be people, places, and situations you're dealing with. So it might not be you. It could be, you know, someone here that's unwilling to work with you or move forward. We've got the two of cups out. We've got the world card. For some of you, and, and receiving for some of you, I'll just, yeah, the divine is stepping in. The universe is stepping in, guys. We have divine counterparts here, okay? And we have a happy ten of cups. Here's the good news. Please do not hang on to anything anymore that is not moving forward, that you do not feel passion in. I don't care if it's a relationship, a purpose, a path, a, 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 a um, career it's time to move forward and how if you don't if you're like how is that going to happen don't worry about it it is coming in you have a higher path higher purpose that is about to come in and this is also about equal reciprocity this is also about someone who meets you halfway whether it's a boss a friend a group a lover all of the above Oh, could be all of it. Hey, so um, we've got the world card, a reset cycle. Now, here's the thing with the reset cycle. That's a new paradigm, new movie, new start, reset. But here's the thing. You've got you've to move forward into the new. You, you, this is where the abundance is. It's time to set new uh, contracts in our careers or without peers or, or, or um, the high, you know, uh, boss or something like that. Also, his spiritual contracts are coming in. So if things are closing out, if things are ending, if things are moving forward, not moving forward, sorry, um, they've ended. 
That, that, you are not going to fight the universe. 2023 20, 7, you are not going to fight the universe. We have the King of Cups here. This is about love, spiritual connection. If it's not love and spiritual connection, it's where you feel <sighs> nurtured, you know, who, someone who's caring, loving, giving to you, wants to take care of you. And there's no more passion here. So let's say that was a boss. Let's say it was a group, a friend, a, a lover. There's no more passion there. So where, where has your passion run out? And we have justice in reverse. There will be a review of contracts, um, an ending of contracts. Um, and there may need to be some negotiation. So that feels like work to me. You know, when you renegotiate in work, your roles, your your But, but, but the main message here, whether it's work or love, it feels like where the passion's gone, because there's not equal give and take, there's not equal commitment here. So if you're doing too much at work, um, you know, you're not getting the reward. You're, you're not getting through to these people or, or vice versa. Now, he, the other thing is too, um, if it's love, You've tried to negotiate all you can, and there's just not, okay, you can't work with people who don't want to work with you, okay? You cannot work with people who do not, you cannot resolve an issue when people do not want to resolve the issue with you. And so here's an example. I'm not saying you're doing this. It's just an example of the energy. And I'm not, and, and maybe someone's doing this to you. You know when you're trying to resolve a conflict at work or at home or in your relationship or you are trying to get something through or negotiated or worked out, you're just going over it and over it and over it and over it. And there's a reason why that's happening because that person is not willing to negotiate, they are not willing to make the changes or they don't want to. I know this is very, very, very overwhelming for you and overwhelming emotion. I, I realize that. And I think you're going to see that in whatever aspect of your life that fits. There's a choice. There's a choice of direction about where I'm going or my partnership. And remember, partnership can be work as well. You know, where am I getting equal reciprocity? Where is someone wanting me as much as I want them? Where are they putting in the work? Where does my boss see me as equally as important or whatever it is, okay? You're moving on to karma waters. Spirit is giving you a reset cycle and you're moving on. They're saying we've given you all the information. You have all the skills now. You Okay, so if you had to leave a relationship, you've got all the skills, all the tools, all the knowledge, all the money saved. You're in a position where you can do so. And moving forward, if it's a job, you are going to see, wow, I've got a lot of skills here. I'm seeing my worth. It is time for me to move forward. And, and, and when you do, this, this receiving, you're blocking your own receiving. Whether it's love or money or finances, you are blocking by staying stuck and not dealing and not speaking out and getting equal or, or that reciprocity or outcome, a, a resolved outcome. That's blocking your, your blessing. For a lot of you, blessings can be blocked, and I've said this in, in a few readings um, this month. Blessings will be blocked by the divine um, if you're not with the right people or you have shady people around or the wrong people around you. The universe will actually block your blessings until you clean your life up. For others of you, you're staying for financial uh, security and stability and I feel that's more relationship than work. Well, it could be work. It definitely could be work. But actually, you're actually blocking your blessing. 
So it's like thinking you're with or in a really stable job or situation only to find out six months down the track that you had a better job and a better offer and better money and or a better partner, better situation, better love, better whatever. <laughs> Yeah, and, and I cannot make it up, whether it's career or the next level or a partner, a solid partner, you are going to get the happiness. It is there for you. You've got it. It comes out of nowhere. You are going to have an offer come out of nowhere. Um, you are going to reevaluate everything, everything you thought was long term, everything you thought was stable, everything you thought would bring you stability. You are reevaluating it. The universe has stopped, stepped in here. There is a higher order, something out of nowhere. And this is someone or something you can build with. This will be something you can grow in, like a job, a career, a relationship. It is literally something that you can build and feel stable and secure in. Um, and we've got the lovers. So again, choices of direction. For the majority of you, this seems like a relationship you have just tried and tried and tried and tried and possibly given it your all. And you, you're definitely not getting the passion back um, or out of it what you, or you've lost the passion and the drive, please reverse it. And there's no negotiation here. There is no negotiation. And you're just so up in your head stressed about that. And it's creating a lot of emotions for you. Now, um, a decision does have to be made. And, and if, if that was a relationship, you know, come to an equal agreement. Just agree and move forward and make that choice to move forward. So for a lot of you, you are going to or have to or someone is making that final choice in a relationship to move on and move forward. They're going to the new. They have realized they've put in all the work and all the effort. Now, for some of you, if it was, um, you're definitely getting someone new as well in that. You have definitely got someone new coming in that's more secure, more stable, something you can build and grow in. They're giving to you and you can move forward. Others of you, it's, if it's career and money and finance, well, it's all there. You've got to trust. If you're fearful about moving on or changing a job, I, I trust. It, it, it's all trusting the universe. The universe is stepping in. Remember 2023 is the seven fated, destined, karmic, spiritual contracts. It's, it's safe. It's, it's meant to be. It's written. All right. So money is coming in. Yes, yeah, see, imbalance. You earth signs are looking at what's in balance, unequal give and take. It's very clear. And there's your earth sign energy here. Deceit, deception, trickery, self-sabotage, pulling the wool over your eyes. Overwhelm about this imbalance or unequal give and take or unable to resolve it. You know, sometimes we want something resolved and we have to just agree to disagree or we have to agree that it's not going to be resolved. Sometimes we do not see eye to eye with someone and that means we're not compatible. We are not compatible. Some of you, yeah, out in the cold, you're worried about being alone, left or out in the cold, but you, you, you will be okay you know, some of you feel you're losing wish fulfillment only to find out there was a better wish fulfillment coming in. Spirit is only ending something now. It is closing spiritual cycles. It is closing karmic contracts. Those things are out of your hands. They were written. Don't fight them. Okay. So, yeah, and sometimes we... we are overwhelmed and there is hurt and there is deception and there is deceit either way you know hurting people is a part of um we all get hurt you know even if we leave or end something amicably we still have hurt you know people can outgrow each other people amicably like agree on it you know we've done our you know i know couples that both agree you know and and it's okay they're still hurt you know, I think some of you are trying to avoid the hurt. Um, but, you know, we have to go through these emotions. It's, it's death and rebirth. It's cycling out 
connection. Um, and some of you, oh, can I just say this? Some of you, it could be you or someone you're dealing with. We've got Queen of Wands, but the conflict card. And we've got the Three of Swords, the Wish Fulfillment. Okay, this is a side note and it's either for you or, or it's not you, it's the other person or vice versa. I would suggest with that energy, don't, don't battle, don't fight. This is someone raging for a fight. This is someone wanting to take you down, put you in the cold, put you out in the cold. This, this is hurt. This person's hurt. They're, they're brutally ready to just create havoc. Now, I hope that's not you, my earth signs, um, or I hope you're not dealing with that. So be mindful. Um, I want another message there. Yes, someone's not happy. See, death and rebirth. I told you cycles are closing out whether we like it or not. That's all of us. It's time to move on and expand. Your wish fulfillment is elsewhere. Okay, moving forward, releasing burden. The tower, it's unexpected. The universe brings the changes. Um, you'll be fine. Nine of pentacles. You'll be fine. Um... Ten of Pentacles is you. You are your abundance. You know. So what I want to. What's this fiery? Do not. Do not create havoc. Oh, okay. Side message. Yeah, the devil. Go. Spirits telling me go back. Go back. Go back. Yeah. If you <laughs> or you're dealing with someone that is. Oh, wants a fight, wants a war, wants to have this out, wants to go to battle, wants to go to town, all right, in battle. <sighs> Don't do it. We're gonna, you're gonna have legal problems. <sighs> this could be someone, it's either you or someone else completely losing control of their emotions completely like flipping out and there is no need for it if it's you or vice versa avoid if it's coming at you because spirit's saying you need to be single. You need to be independent and move on and stand on your own two feet. And for those of you who do, it's time to be your own person. Like, go it alone. Do it yourself. Start it yourself. Whatever it is, you know, be entrepreneurial. Because temperance has come in and closed something out. There are cycles now happening in every reading that you can no longer grow. It has either become too imbalanced or it is not in alignment or something's happening. Temperance is patience, keeping your balance and the next natural evolution that you're not fighting and nobody is fighting forward. Okay, now, with the justice card in reverse, The death card. And that's why I'm saying we do have a king of wands here. Coming out of nowhere, putting the past behind you, healing a two of cups. Yeah. Some of you could be arguing or fighting over legal or, ma or money. Um, king of wands can put up a fight, a battle. Queen of Wands is here that can put up a fight and a battle. So, you know, is it worth it? Is it really worth it engaging in that? Because that to me is all out war.
let's let's say someone is dealing with that you're better off to come up with a negotiation than go to war what is going on here because we've got the devil too things coming out justice the devil and justice things are coming out i cannot make it up guys devil and the justice here yeah. earth sign everything that's meant to come out now is meant to come out Everything that's meant to go is meant to go. There is no point fighting, arguing, and going, people. It, it, keep the peace. Keep grounded. Keep your emotions intact. This may be a month that you need to keep your emotions intact. Guard, guard, look. Guard your emotions or hold your emotions. We have an emperor here that's a ruler, a decision, the sun card and releasing burden. Whatever outcome it is, whatever is final, it will be karmic or it will be finalised in law courts uh, or karmic law or karmic order. All right. You can't fight the big stuff, the justice, the sun, the emperor, the ten of wands. Yeah. Yeah, don't, don't fight battles we can't um, win. And that's what I mean by that is possibly not a person, but a um, the universe. Ooh, you, you will know where that fits, guys. But, um, but um, I got in trouble for saying but um, a lot. It's my thinking word. <laughs> I need a better one someone say okay so i think i can wrap it up you'll know where that fits up avoid conflict or <laughs> losing it with someone maybe yeah and you're getting the pair of pentacles you're getting something you can build and grow in now okay take care bye